What is failover? Failover is a process in which a system automatically transfers control to a redundant or standby system component upon the failure or uh, abnormal termination of the previous active component. The purpose of failover is to ensure continuity and availability of services by minimizing downtime and maintaining system functionality during failures. Let's talk about key components of failover. The first thing that we will talk about will be the primary and secondary system. The primary system or active system is the main component that handles the normal operations and the secondary system or standby system remains um, in um, remains in in um, ideal or idle or uh, or performance minimal tasks uh, ready to take over in case uh, the primary system fails. Number two, failover mechanisms. So the failover mechanism is responsible for monitoring the primary system's health and performance. It detects failures and trigger the switch to the secondary system. Number three, redundancy. So failover relies on redundant systems, which can be hardware like servers, network devices, network devices, or or etc. Whatever it will be, or software components that duplicate the function of the primary of the primary system let's talk about the types of failover number 1 we have um, cold failover so the standby system is powered off or in inactive until a failover occurs upon failure on the system primary system Oh shit. One minute. Sorry, I had a problem. Um, so where we are? Yeah, we were in the cold fillover. So uh, the standby system is is powered off or inactive until a fail over occurs. Upon failure of um, the primary system, the standby system boots up and takes over. This can result in some downtime during the switch. Number two, we have warm failover. The standby system runs in the background, monitoring the state of the primary system, but not actively handling requests. It can take over more quickly than it uh, than in a cold failover scenarios, but some brief downtime may still occur. And number three, we have hot failover. Uh, the standby system is fully operational and uh, synchronized with the primary system, ready to take over uh, immediately with no noticeable downtime. This is also known as um, active uh, active failover. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about the failover processes. So the failover processes, let's start by number one, which will be health monitoring. Um, we have continuous monitoring of the primary system health, including checking for hardware failures, software crashes, and performance issues. Number two, we have detecting and uh, triggering so um, automatic detection of failures and triggering of the failover process this can involve checking how, uh, heartbeats response times or error rates number three we have uh, switching so uh, redirecting traffic or control from the fail primary system to the standby system um, this may involve up, uh, updating DNS records, routing network traffic, or switching database connection. And number four, we have synchronization. 
basically we're ensuring data and uh, and state consistency between the primary and standby systems often through uh, real time uh, replication or periodic synch- uh, synchronization so um we can talk about some examples of the failover and number one it will be the database failover no 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 now we want to talk about some examples let me just do it again and number one i want to talk about database failover great so database like uh, MySQL or Postgres SQL and SQL Server support uh, failover mechanisms where a secondary database server can take over if the primary server fails. Um, we have the web server failover. Um, load balancers uh, can detect um, fail, failed uh, web servers and route traffic to healthy servers, ensuring continuous availability of uh, web servers. We have network services or network failover. So network devices like routes and switches can have redundant paths and failover mechanisms to ensure network con- uh, con- connectivity is maintained if a primary path or device fails. And lastly, we have cloud services. So cloud providing like AWS, Azure, and cloud and Google Cloud offer failover solution for virtual machines, databases, and other services to ensure high availability and disaster recovery. So let's talk about the benefits of failover. And number one, it will be minimized downtime. So failover reduced system downtime by quickly switching to backup system, ensuring continuous service uh, availability. Number two, increased um, reliability. So enhances system reliability by providing a backup plan in case of failures, preventing single point of failures. And number three, we have improved uh, business uh, continuity. Uh, supports business uh, con- uh, continuity by ensuring critical services remaining operational during failures, avoiding uh, disruption and potential revenue uh, loss. And lastly, we have um, enhanced user experience. So provide seamless uh, experience for users and they are less likely to encounter service interruption or degraded performance. So, in summary, failover is a critical process for maintaining system availability and reliability by automatically switching to backup system if the system event of uh, if if this if if the event of um, if to backup system in in the event of um, a failure. It involves redundancy, health monitoring, and synchronization to ensure seamless continuity of services. So that's it for this video, and see you in the future.